Hi, Michelle here at Thrifting 101. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to do a shipping video because I ship a lot of fragile items. And I've been meaning to do one, but the right time hasn't come around. Today, the right time came around. I was at Goodwill yesterday, and I thought I passed up buying a mug that I came home and saw on eBay was worth a lot of money. Well, not a lot of money, but the mug was 69 cents and they were selling for about 20. So I went back today, I couldn't find the mug, but I did find a box of Wexford pressed glass goblets from the 60s. Um, and it was half price today, so this whole box cost me $2. So I said that would be a great video. And then I got in the car and noticed that I did buy the mug yesterday after all. So I guess it was meant to be, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. is what I use to pack fragiles. It might not be pretty, but believe me, it works, at least for me. Um, out of this set of 12, I decided to break them into sets of six, or out of this lot of 12, I'm gonna break them into set of six, because I find it easier to ship less items in one box. And actually, I think you get a little more money on eBay if you break them into lots. I'm going to take six of these, put the rest away for now. And I try and ship everything in flat rate boxes because flat rate boxes is one low price and you can fill the heck out of it. You can pack it with whatever you want. It, the weight doesn't matter. So I take my flat rate box and I take my tape. A lot of smart people use tape dispensers I, for some reason, cannot. So I just use tape the old fashioned way. So I'm gonna take the box up. This is really 101 stuff, but I tape it down the middle. I tape both sides down tight. And then according to how heavy the box is gonna be, two or three across the back to support the weight of the bottom of the box. I think two is fine here. Okay. One of the keys to successful packing, and I learned this the hard way, is to make sure, this is where all my good packing stuff comes in, you have something on the bottom of the box. When I first started shipping fragiles, I didn't do that. And um, the buyer called and said everything was broken. And how come I didn't pack anything on the bottom of the box? So lesson learned, make sure you have something on the bottom of the box to support it. First thing I do, I use a lot of newspaper. Cut a piece in half. I fill the glass with the newspaper. And then I wrap it in newspaper. I tend to use a lot of tape. Um, I find the, even though I do add the cost sometimes on of my materials to what I sell, I find it is better to err on the side of caution. So I have it all um, packed in newspaper. And now what I do is I wrap it really, really tight with tape. It almost acts like an insulator. Make sure everything is packed down really tight. Where are my scissors? My scissors. <laughs> Bear with me. And then I wrap it the other way also. use a lot of tape. Once again. So this kind of helps it from breakage. It's kind of like when you wrap your windows, I guess, in a hurricane. So now that that's done, I'm ready to bubble wrap. And I 
I usually use two sheets. Make sure that the bubble side is facing down. You want the, the flat side um, is the part you're gonna wrap. So here I go. I put it maybe a little bit in, wrap it under, fold up the edges, and just keep rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. I could probably get away with one sheet, but like I said, I like to err on the side of caution. So again, my tape without my tape dispenser. And again, I do the same thing. I wrap the heck out of it. Every bit of it. Maybe this can be. Do that one way. Take it the other way. And once more around the center. Nice. Virtually unbreakable. So now that we have our six tumblers all um, wrapped up and ready to go, ready to be boxed, we're going to put them in box. Remember, I have something on the bottom of the box. I use bags and paper. I use actually whatever I have, but it needs to be cushioned. It's very important. So next thing you want to figure out is the best way to pack them. And you want to pack them tight. So let's see. We put one there. And there. Sometimes it takes me a few different tries to figure out the best way. So I got three in that way. One there. This one there. Nice and tight. Nothing's moving. That's what you want to see. I still have one more. And you might be wondering what I'm doing with all these cardboard boxes. I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to cut a piece of cardboard because remember, you could pack the heck out of these boxes. It does not go by weight. I'm going to take a piece of cardboard. It's too big. I'm going to cut it to fit over. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just using it to shield the glasses a little more. So I'm going to bend this into my box. Okay, that'll work. I'm going to take my glass, my leftover one, put something between that and the other glasses. Take this piece, <laughs> fit it down, and you're good to go. I'm going to pack your box up. When it's time to go, you're going to get a label on it. Show you something here. Sometimes if I have extra room in the box, this time you notice I did it, I will surround the whole box with anything I can find, bags, um, extra newspaper, pieces of broken boxes, because you want to make sure in the end, hear that? You hear nothing. That's what you want to hear, nothing. Because if it's packed tight like this and nothing's rattling, chances are very good that your package is going to make it there safe. So there you have it. That's Michelle's version of shipping fragile items. I hope you found it informative. And if you have any questions, um, please let me know because shipping plates are not the same as shipping glassware, but that was the basics. Make sure you have something on the bottom of the box before you pack it. Pack it in paper, roll it tight, pack it again with bubble wrap, roll it tight. Make sure when you're ready to ship it, nothing moves. And that's that. So um, my next video, of course, will be a thrifting video. I have lots and lots of good stuff. And um, I hope you come back to watch it. So thanks again for watching me pack my fragile items. And um, we'll see you real soon and have a great day. So here you have it. Oh, sorry. Hi everybody, Michelle at Thrifting 101. Welcome to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. 
<laughs> we're done.